Welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to be trying this CoverGirl, not CoverGirl, Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Um, you know, y'all know I don't wear foundation like that. So when I do a foundation, you know, I really expect a lot. Okay, I expect a lot. So if you guys would like to see or hear more about this foundation and this new was, well, I don't even think it's new, but it's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. If y'all want to see what I think about this and trying to wonder if you should get it to add some more drugstore babes to your collection, then keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm finally off the phone now, so I'm going to go ahead and use the stuff that I'm excited to share with you guys. Uh, let me go ahead and get this little brush ready. So I went ahead and used the Jewish Place Masquerade Palette. Freaking love this look that I got together right now. Like It's my first time doing a halo eye, so I'm actually really excited. And I think instead of doing my foundation first, one of my friends who is on YouTube as well, Trippy Gabs is her name on here, um, she said that she puts her, her concealer on and then her foundation. And y'all know normally on YouTube we do the foundation first and then the concealer. But I'm actually going to try and just see, see what happens. Um, this concealer that I'm using is new, never used it before, so I probably shouldn't be opening the pack this wild. But it's the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. So I, I guess it goes hand in hand with the Super Stay foundation, even though this doesn't say better skin. Um, the color I got was medium deep again, which is the shade number 50. You know, I, I need them to make a concealer, a setting powder, a uh, finishing powder, all that in the same color, cause, which is why I like to fit me, because it makes it easier to match. But once you find your color in one, uh, one range of foundations, then they come out with a whole new brand of foundations, and it's like, dang, now I gotta try to figure out what color is for that. So anyway, I'm using the Better Skin for the first time, and I'm excited to see. I feel like concealers with these wands make my eyes burn under here, and I have no idea why. Ooh, it's super thick and creamy. I like it. Ooh, it's super thick. I do think this concealer is a little bright. So maybe I could have went for the next one, I'm guessing. I don't know. We'll just go and see. Definitely bright. So I guess this would be my highlight shade. I, yeah, I definitely would say this concealer is my highlight shade and not my exact shade. So I'm probably going to take it back. I saved the receipt just in case. And I'm glad I did now. But I'm still going to go in, still going to go in with this Maybelline Cover Stay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm getting all these names mixed up. The Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage. It says it's supposed to be at 24 hours. I won't be testing that because uh, it's 10 o'clock now. Okay, so some just fell out. I don't know what it was. But anyway, it has a pump, so I'm really liking that. This color is 330 Toffee Caramel. I'm thinking I'm the next shade, which is 335, but even that looks a little too dark. Uh, I don't know. You know, everybody that says they use this, that's an NC45 and MAC uses the 330. And that's the NC45. Y'all saw my video. I said that it looked way too yellow, but on camera it looked like a perfect match. So I'm really having a hard time trying to figure out what foundations are for me. The only thing I feel like matches perfectly is the L'Oreal Infallible and Soft Sable. And even I thought that that was too light, but once it oxidized and got on my face, it was perfection. And I love the way that it dried down onto my skin. Cause like I felt like I didn't even need setting powder with that, and I like that. So I don't know how this is gonna be, but it says full coverage up to 24 hours, seamlessly matte, finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, oil free, doesn't clog pores. I've never tried a transfer test because I feel like no matter what you put on your face, it's gonna transfer. So let me put a pump. Ooh. This pump is very functioning. But this is how it looks on the back of my hand, so I guess it looks okay. I'm just gonna do one side of my face at a time because I think I remember somebody saying on YouTube that it dried down really fast. So I'm gonna do one side at a time and see how it applies. And I'm gonna see how it applies with a sponge instead of um, a brush. Mm. 
Yeah, it's definitely yellow. As you guys can see on camera, it's way yellow. I'm hoping that it dries down some. So this is why I hate picking out, this is why I hate trying to find foundations. This is the hardest part, is trying to find the shade that matches. Like, this is how I felt when I put on the, um, the NC45, it was just too yellow. But even, but y'all said that it matched, so let me just keep going. This is why I don't do foundation, like, people be like, Jerry, you don't wear foundation? No, because as you can see, like, I have a hard time matching myself, and then it looks like I have on a mask, and nobody got time to be walking around here looking like they got a mask on their face, a colored mask. And that's why I feel like foundation makes me feel is like I'm wearing a mask. And maybe that's because I don't wear it all the time, so it just feels like that to me. But I feel like I'm being covered in something. I don't know. I don't. I don't like the feeling. Um, it does go on really smooth. I do like that. Like it doesn't um, look all. Besides the fact that the color, I don't like. It does apply really smooth, and it's definitely full coverage. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna need this to not stick to my mustache area. Like, that's one thing I had, another thing I hate about foundation. Is every, I just keep saying, oh, this is what I hate about. Like, I'm reminded why I don't wear foundation when I wear foundation. And I really only give foundations for YouTube videos because for my everyday makeup, I never do foundation. I just do a bomb under eye setting, do my bomb eye looks, and call it a day. Like, I don't do anything more than that. Um, so yeah, so like I said, this is super yellow. I don't like that, so I don't think that I'm gonna keep it. Um, I mean it matches, but I just feel like I have a mask on. I don't like that. Like I said, that can't. That, I'm not gonna blame the foundation. It's just probably just how I feel about foundations. So it's really hard to say. But as far as the foundation itself, like I'm not gonna say rate the foundation bad or nothing. But I'm just saying that like, I just don't like this color. Anyway, so I'm gonna use the Mit Me, the Mit Me, the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, which I'm excited to try. But I'm prepared to take it back. And we are not going to bake with this. I'm just going to set with this. If I can get it, I'm gonna need tweezers. I'm just gonna go on with this fluffy powder brush. I think that's what this is. It's a tapered setting brush. Yeah, so this is what this is for. I'm gonna dip it into the lid of where I poured this into. Tap it off and apply. Mm. I really like it. I'm really liking it. I dumped way too much though. This is really pretty, you guys. I'm gonna um, put some under my contour though. And this is finishing powder. It's not even setting powder. So I'm using it as setting powder. I really like this powder. I really like it, you guys. I feel like it just made my makeup look so good. My brows always get shiny first whenever I don't use the eyebrow gel. So I'm lightly dusting over them. But I'm really liking this. All right, so my final thoughts on this Neutrogena Coverstay foundation. I like the, what do you call it? I like the way that it applies to my face and it doesn't seem not to match now that I got my whole face done. It actually matches pretty well, I think. You know, it's just at first, these foundations be confusing, they be fooling me. Um, so I, the coverage is really good. The finish is really good. It's definitely matte. Um, using this Fit Me Loose Powder on top of it, bruh. Like, 
flawless. I love it. This is going to be another new holy grail. I don't know how long these will hold up, so I'm not making this video as a claim to say that it's going to be the full 24 hours that they said it's going to be, but I can definitely say the finish is matte. It's definitely bomb. It's not transfer proof because I touched my face and it was on my finger and it had kind of erased or whatever. Maybe I didn't put enough there. I'm not sure, but it definitely is not transfer proof. Um, like I said, I don't know if it'll last 24 hours because I'm not going to be wearing this 24 hours. I just I just made this look just to film this video and um, yeah, so it's definitely not going to be. Definitely not gonna, maybe one day I'm going to test the 24 hour theory, but I can just do that on Snapchat or my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on those. Um, but I definitely would say it's definitely worth it. I like the finish of it and if it does last 24 hours like everyone else here on YouTube says, you can just look for it then I'm sure it's totally worth it and it would be something that I would wear again. Now that I see that it doesn't look so bad on my face, I will definitely wear it again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and I'm excited to have another bomb drugstore foundation. Like, you know, I tried to do high end, I tried to do high end, tried to start with MAC, didn't work because they said I was NC45 and I just didn't like the way it looked. It just didn't look that good to me. So um, I took it back. Uh, now I'm willing to try NARS one day. I might try NARS one day, but you know I'm just gonna dab on back to the drugstore foundations for a minute since so I don't wear foundation like that anyway. I feel like why waste my time going to try and find a high end when high end just so much more expensive and I couldn't save money going to the drugstore since I don't wear foundation like that. Anyway, so if you guys like this video, I hope you guys thumbs up and thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat. Keep up with me in my daily life. That's where you can contact me 24-7 when it's not here on YouTube. Thank you guys for all my new subscribers that have been coming in from I'm not sure where. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you, especially the ones who actually take the time to comment and watch the videos. Even those who don't comment, I see you and I'm glad that you're here and I just want you to know that I, that I am thankful and I am just grateful for each and every one of my subscribers. But that's pretty much it for this video. So I thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.